It's Jackie. It is January 18th and I can finally say that my December daily is all done. This video I'm just going to show you a quick flip through of all the pages so you can see it all in one big book. If you want to see any more details like uh, specific pages of materials I've used, all that sort of thing, I have a whole playlist. This, if you just click on the playlist that this video is part of, it will show you um, each of the pages as I made them. I did in-depth videos. so. Anything you want to see should be there, but otherwise, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to talk about it. So this is my book, my Heidi Swap album, December 2016. This is what it looks like, chunky-wise. It is not that chunky. It is perfect. I love it. I love a December daily that's not chunky. It says, believe on the spine. And I just put a die cut on the front and uh, some foil numbers. And then this year, I did um, as many pages as I felt like a day took. So this one is just an intro tag. This is just an intro page. Lots of journaling pages like this. Just a tag for day one. That was Advent. Day two is a page that was curled up. Day three, Merry Making and Cookie Baking. So that one got two pages, lots of journaling and photos. Day four was a fun Sunday. Day five was the bulk burn with my sister. Day six, we put up my sister's tree. And uh, I put an extra page in here for day six. Day seven was just a journaling page. And I kept my journaling consistent throughout the book. Day nine was working out. Day, and also making fruitcakes in the evening. So it's both sides of that page. This page is just like a deco page, glitter glue and paint and fun stuff. Day 10. Was two pages as well, the big sing, and then a picture says believe of my friends, and the weather was snow, and actually this is also day 10, this was the snow we had that day. We did some vellum pages here, because I think they are stunning. Uh, I copied that idea from Jen Scow, she did that in her December daily, and that's how I learned about it. Day 12 was extra cake, <laughs> and then we get into the baking pages. They get kind of intense. Uh, actually, day 13 was my annual review. Um, and 14 was the first annual Toronto pre-Christmas celebration. And this was just like a half-cut page. Day 15 was all of my baking is finished. And actually, after I wrote the list, I realized I forgot something, but there's no room for it on the page, so we're going to pretend that's what I did. Um, on the back, there's some pictures of the things I baked on day 16. I did these little two pages that they go together as like a little set, gift wrap and journaling, office treats, things I gave to the office and more journaling on the back. Uh, day 17 was called Online Love and it is all the comments I received online about my Christmas baking. It's a lot of pages from wonderful strangers that love pictures of baked goods. <laughs> and uh, I saved all those. I'm so pleased that I saved them. This is a great spot for them. Stamping at the top, I love. Day 18 was Gingerbread House Day with my sister and movies and lunch. Day 19, my husband went on a road trip, so I gave the page to him because I just stayed home. Oh, we're stuck together. And on day 20 was gifts from John. I opened some early Christmas presents. Did some mixed media -y things here. Day 21 was my Christmas manicure. It's the last thing I do before I go home for the holidays, which is the uh, little intro tag that December 22nd to January the 1st was when I was home this year. Pictures of me on the flight on day 22 was a travel day. It was also a package of the chocolates day. So I just put traveling and family time for day 22. With my spinning number that faces the right direction no matter what side you're on, if you can see it. Uh, day 23 was the final prep day before Christmas started. And there's two pages for that. Day 24, Christmas Eve. And there's a million pages for Christmas Eve. There was ornaments in the afternoon. There was evening at my grandmother's house. There was Christmas Eve dinner. There was a well-decorated house. There was 
everyone wearing matching socks. <laughs> there was my grandmother's Christmas tree, another vellum page. There was hanging out, waiting for uh, bedtime. There were two special moments that I saved. Down a little bit. Um, and then we have another kind of intro page that says one more sleep. And we get into 25 with an early morning coffee run. Um, this beautiful picture of my family opening Christmas presents. I had to send that one away to get printed because my printer can't do it. More pictures of everyone opening presents. More pictures of everyone opening presents. One more picture of someone opening a present. Um, packaging from one of the presents. Pictures of breakfast, pictures of dinner. I just love these pages. They make me so happy. A <laughs> midnight snack. <laughs> more journaling pages. And then we get into 26. With more, uh, not a lot of pictures for these ones. 27th was shopping, and there's a journaling page that accompanies that. 28th was a lazy day where all we did was go to the gym. 29th was going for lunch. It was having turkey dinner for the second time. <laughs> 30 was going to the trampoline park with the kids. Another journaling page. A menu from, Christmas, or from New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve dinner. Mother's New Year's Eve party and our New Year's Eve party and last but not least the New Year's pie. So that's it. December daily. All done. I love it. If you're still working on yours, don't give up. You're going to be done soon. There's only a finite number of pages that go in it. So if you keep doing one, keep doing one more and keep doing one more, you'll be done before you know it. Um, this is my third year doing December Daily. I thought after the first one I'd never do another one, but I don't seem to be able to stop, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you've been following me along all month, um, well, month and a half at this point, I just want to say thank you. I love the support that I get on YouTube. It's the reason I keep posting videos, and um, I loved seeing what everybody else did this year. Thank you so much to the YouTube community. You guys are wonderful.